Hello and thank you for visiting worksheets and walkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to look at visual problem solving Singapore style, and this is problem number VPS 5 3. We'll be looking at this worksheet. And you can go to worksheets and walkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our Singapore methods section. And it is, once again, worksheet number VPS 5 3. Let's get started. At the school talent show, one third of the people were boys, three six were girls, and the rest were adults. If there were 50 more girls than adults, how many people were there in total? So once again, we'll be using model drawings, and in this case, we'll use a model drawing in involving fractions. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the clues and set it up. Since we know that one third equals two six, we can set up this model drawing below. First of all, we'll take a look at that first clue. We can see that one third of the people were boys. And that's shown in our model drawing here. So one third, and since we know that one third equals two six, we can set this right up. One third equals two six. Then we also know that three six were girls. And that is shown down here. And the rest were adults. So now we've taken these clues. We know that, well, for the whole audience, it would be one whole. So with that in mind, we can see that there were six parts. Since we have two six here, we've got one six, two six, and then we have three more six, giving us five six all, all together so far. So we can deduce that this last section here, the adults, would be one sixth of the audience. So now we have one whole audience. Essentially two six plus three six plus one six equals one whole in this case. We also have to consider our math job. How many people were there in total? And that is shown here. We have to know how many people there were in the whole audience all together. So let's move on. Step two. Since there are 50 more girls than adults, the difference between girls and adults would be 3 6 minus 1 third or 50. Okay, so that will equal 50 there. Since there are 50 more girls, our difference naturally would be 50. So if 3 6 minus 1 6 equals 2 6 here, then 2 6 must equal 50. 2 6 must equal 50. And we've shown our work over here, our calculation. 2 6 is our difference when subtracting 3 6 minus 1 6. And then therefore, 2, 6 must equal 50. So here we have this section representing 2, 6. And we know that 2, 6 equals 50. 2, 6 equals 50. Mm -hmm. So you might be able to solve the problem at this point, realizing that we have three groups of 2, 6. However, there's an alternate way to solve it. So we'll move on and, and do that. We have step three to take a look at. Visually, we can see that two parts equals 50. Two parts equals 50. And once again, we have that section up here. Two six equals 50, 50 people in the audience. So one part equals 50 divided by two. And we've shown our work. So 50 divided by 2 equals 25. So there we know that one part, one part equals 25. So you might be thinking, ah, I know how to solve this at this point. And if you do, good for you. Let's take a look. We've got our last step, step four. So since there are six parts altogether, we can deduce that six times 25 would give us our solution, our uh, solve our math job. So we can see that six times 25 equals 150 people altogether at the talent show. We've shown our work on the side over here. 25 times six equals 
150. And if you think about that, it's beginning to take shape and make sense. Since each of these sections would be worth 25, therefore two, two sections would be worth 50. So when you just think of it in terms of 50, 50, 100, 150 in all watching the talent show. So our answer is there were 150 people at the talent show. So that was another quick look at visual problem solving Singapore style networks worksheet VPS 5-3. Thanks for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>